most products come in packaging, which isn't there just to make the product look pretty on the shelf. Packaging has six functions. Protection, information, containing, transportation, preservation and display. Packaging protects the product from damage in transit and prevents tampering. Packaging materials such as cardboard, bubble wrap, air pillows and expanded polystyrene can protect a product from knocks. Packaging is also needed for security. They contain anti-theft devices for DVDs and games, security tags filled with ink that spoil the item when opened, and tamper evidence seals to show whether a food item has been opened. Product information is important information for buyers and users, usually including a picture of the product. Some information has to be included by law. For example, toy packaging must include the appropriate age of the user. All packaging should carry the CE European Standards or BSI British Standards logos that state that the product has been tested for safety and fitness for purpose. For more information on your specific material area, listen to the appropriate podcast. Many products need packaging to contain them and it would be difficult to buy coffee or a board game without them. Packaging makes it easier to store the product and well-designed packaging makes things fit together neatly side by side. Products are often stored on top of each other so the packaging needs to be strong enough not to collapse under the weight of other objects. Think about Smarties. They used to come in round tubes with a plastic lid which meant there was lots of wasted space between the boxes on the shelf. Now they're in hexagonal tubes that slot together and leave no space. The new shape also makes the tube stronger than before. Many products, especially food, start to deteriorate when they're exposed to oxygen in the air. Sealed glass jars and bottles, tin cans and tubes are used as airtight packaging for food and drink as well as other products such as toothpaste and shampoo. But plastics and their composite materials such as card and aluminium foil laminated together are now widely used. Attractive and distinctive packaging enables buyers to find the product easier once it's in a shop. Distinctive packaging makes the product instantly recognisable. Think about value brands at supermarkets. The packaging is simple and uses two or three basic colours, while own brand or branded items use higher quality paper and bright colours. Branding is the most valuable thing to a manufacturer. The brand involves a name, a term, colour, symbols and a design or a combination of these that identify the product in a way that makes them particularly appealing. The power of a brand is so strong that people often buy products because of the adverts on TV, the logo or an email. Why brand? It's a way a company can make their product more visible and recognisable, giving it a personality that people can engage with. By the company giving their product a personality, the consumer feels secure and it gives the company a good reputation. A good brand identity sets a company apart from its competitors. Think of someone you know who has a car. Have they always bought the same brand of car? If they do, is it through brand loyalty or do they believe there's an association of quality? This principle works with foods too. Think about the foods in your cupboards. Do the same brands get bought each week? A brand personality is more important than you think. It can be used to create empathy with a target group, shows a level of professionalism and brings business to the company by making the company visible. What values do you want to be associated with the brand you're developing? Reliability, safety, youthfulness, freshness, quality or no-nonsense. These are just some values that may be important to you. The identity can be used in advertising, such as leaflets and flyers, packaging, point of sale, signage, digital media, staff uniforms and websites. Digital media is any form of advertising on the computer and point of sale is where a product is displayed for sale, for example, chocolate bars and chewing gum at the checkouts. Branding doesn't just appear out of nowhere. Manufacturers invest heavily in market research to ensure that their products are wanted by the consumer and will therefore sell. Market research can help companies identify their target market and shape their brand identity.